Hello again and welcome to Two Vlog, my video blog about all things brass and improving as a brass player. Today I'm going to talk about Arben's complete method, which I consider to be the brass player's bible. Uh, I'm not going to talk about specific exercises today so much, I'll cover that in future episodes, but I will be referencing the version from Encore Music Publishers by Wes Jacobs and Dr. Jerry Young. So the reason I consider it the Brass Player's Bible is it's got all of the fundamental exercises that you could possibly need in order to get better at playing in a fundamental technical way. It's over 300 pages of fundamental goodness and it's, got, it's a resource with lots of effective exercises. I've played something from the Arbon book every single day that I practiced since I was in high school. Uh, and it's organized in an intuitive manner, fundamentals, slurs, scales, ornamentation, intervals, triplets and sixteenths, chords, cadenzas, multiple tonguing, phrasing, duets, and characteristic studies. I've worked on everything in the book at some point throughout my, through, throughout my years as a tuba player, and I only work on a few on a regular basis, so I'm going to talk about a few of those today. But first, there are two main approaches to working out of the Arben book. The first approach is a preemptive approach. So the question you need to ask yourself is what do I need to improve for future repertoire? An example of this would be learning to double tongue before you need it in a piece or continually working on exercises in order to improve on specific skills like uh, moving through intervals or arpeggios or articulation or slurring etc. So this is good for continual work as part of a well-balanced routine. And that's where I keep most of my Arben work is during my routine. The second approach is choosing exercises based on repertoire you're currently playing. So the question you ask yourself is, what do I need to improve on current repertoire? So you could work on scale studies in E-flat major if you're learning the Morceau Vivant, or work on the arpeggio studies as you learn the first characteristic study from the Arben book. You need to keep in mind though, uh, and I'll cover this more in future episodes, but you can change any aspect of all of the exercises from the Arben book. So the ways you can change it are, are you can change the articulation, change the octave, rhythm, vary the dynamic markings, can transpose. You're only limited by your imagination. So here are some of my favorite exercises and the ones that stay in my regular rotation. I'll play the rhythmic study number 13, scales number one and two, interval studies number one, and double tonguing exercise number 88. Both of these approaches are great ways to go about working on the book and learning to play all of the exercises better. So as always, like and subscribe to this video, but leave in the comments how you use the Arvin book. See you next time.